friends, today we are going to be looking at the problematic iceberg of British TikTok. If you've never seen an iceberg video before, basically how this one's going to work, is we're going to start off with creators at the top who get hate, where I don't really think it's justified them getting this kind of reaction, until we get to the very bottom where we will be reacting to creators who I do believe deserve some hate, and most of them shouldn't have a platform. So yeah, get comfy because we are diving deep into the problematic nature of British. TikTokers. <laughs> So at the tip of the iceberg, we have one of my favourite creators who seems to get a lot of hate on Twitter. She's called Candy's Cooking. Give me oil in my heart, keep me cooking. Now if you haven't seen Candy's Cooking before, basically she cooks her own recipes, but they're quite controversial. And she's actually deleted her own TikTok account about four times because of the hate she gets. Hi everyone, so today I'm making a hot dog curry pie. This is one of my special dishes. Oh, hot dog curry and pie. Three things that Gordon Ramsay would never put together, but you know why? Because he's a pussy. He wouldn't dare to do that. That's too out of his comfort zone. That's why I rate candy. Condiments. Foods that shouldn't go together should put them together. When in your life have you had a hot dog curry pie? I'll wait. <laughs> I really hope that was edited. She's quite clearly turned the gas on. She's getting that oven warmed up. So this is a nice taster into our videos, okay? Like, she's not actually really harming anyone so far. I've literally got the last oil off the shelf. Give me oil in my heart, keep me cooking. Give me oil in my heart, I pray. Love, I, I, I think actually the more oil you have in your heart, the more uh, risk you are of having a heart attack. So I'd probably be saying keep the oil out of your heart. Like, Jesus, look how big. That kind of oil is. That could power a car for a week. That is insane. Say candy, say candy. This is why I like candy and believe she doesn't get hate, right? This is how she reacts to getting a bottle of oil. She's so golden. Oh my God, we need to protect her. We need to protect her at all costs. I don't see you reacting like this when you get a can of oil. This woman is precious. Now you might be thinking, how does candy use this oil in her cooking? Surely she doesn't use, you know, most of that bottle all at once. I'm making a macaroni cheese today. With bacon. Oh, God. Where on the packet of a macaroni cheese does it say, empty your oil bottle into the pan? This person's heart must be like, please, please, stop, stop. The thing is, right, she gets so much hate for this. And I get it, right, If you, I wouldn't personally cook like this. But she isn't actually hurting anyone else. She's only hurting herself. Why do people feel the need to put their opinions on her? Right? I just think you should just look at it and laugh. I'm having a bit of a healthy one today. So join me. Well, make a nice healthy meal. You know, I can only defend you so much, Candy. Your nice healthy meal, then you bloody... You put the Pacific Ocean in the pan. What are you doing? Christ, the Black Pearl could sail on that. Oh my God. Jesus. The bacon needs armbands. It's drowning in there. She's just threw them in the deep end of the pool. At least start in the shallow end. Ah! Help! This is what you get for being a lesbian. <laughs> See, she's just having a laugh. She's not harming anyone, so in my opinion, Candy doesn't deserve the hate. Decided. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, up. The next TikTokers get the most hate I've ever seen. Like, every single time I open Twitter, there's a new tweet slated these people. They're called The Family Lee. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but basically, it's normally like the dad and the two sons are dancing, and sometimes there's like a sister or like a girlfriend in it as well. And all they do is just dance. That's literally all they do but people can't stand it when they upload a new video it literally ruins people's days let's take a look <laughs> It's a 10 from Len. Love it. Right, okay. First impressions, it's a little cringe. But they're just having fun. I sometimes see tweets, like, wishing these people to die. They're just dancing in the garden. Is it really that deep? <laughs> Imagine it's like Sunday morning, 8 a.m., right? You're off work, you're just trying to have a lie in. You can just hear them blasting this and you look out your window, it's just people going. 
Oh shit, Alan! Oh, Alan! Alan Shearer is not a fan, clearly. Try it off himself. Personally, if I was looking to buy a house in this street and I'm on the way to the viewing, I turn in and I see the next door neighbours doing this, I'm just turning round and leaving. No hate to them, it's just not, it's not for me. But I'm not gonna write a tweet wishing them to die. That's the point I'm trying to make here. It's their faces as well. Look at every single one of their faces when they're dancing. It looks like there's someone behind the camera with a gun. Dance, family Lee. Dance the night away, family Lee. Smile. There's not enough smiling. I love how the sister kind of comes in sometimes. I think it's the sister. I can't lie. That it's it's this guy. It's this bloke. He kind of throws us off a little bit. Just watch his facial expressions. It's a little intense, right? I'll give you that. It's a little intense. It's like I feel like he's staring directly into me soul. Like I don't know where to look when he's dancing. I'm like this. So it's at the time, is it? Is it? <laughs> oh, you just know there's like a 50 year old geezer at his local pub going, Oh, the fucking back again, the fucking dancing twats. To try to neck his Guinness in peace. Arguably, right? The dad's the best dancer. The dad's kind of got the most rhythm. You know, usually you would think that the other lads would be carrying him, but I actually feel like he carries the entire thing. I think the dad's the star player here and everyone else is the backup dancer. I'm here for the dad. Here we go, guys. Look, baby dance of motivation. Dad, what is the quote of the day? If you could dream it, you could do it. Darn it. Amazing. Five, six, seven, Not me proudest wank. This was a hard watch, I can't lie. It does trouble us. Like every so often when they when they come on my TikTok for you page, I do click not interested, but they keep coming up, so clearly not working. I don't actually mind it, it's just not for me. The hate they receive on Twitter is unwarranted. I just want to make that clear. What is funny as well, the family Lee did do like a I guess a response video to the hate that they receive on Twitter. <laughs> They're bathing in it, right? Send your hate to the family league. They don't care. They'll dance the night away. They'll see your hate comment. They'll be like, fucking get out of there. Poof, get out. <laughs> So now we're moving down the iceberg to the surface. This involves creators that I think are funny to react to, but are a bit problematic. First on the list, the man, the myth, the legend. Bevo. Dinner, you, know, you know the rules, and if you don't know the rules, get to know the rules. If you don't know who Bevo is, basically, very recently he blew up because he swallows his food without chewing it. I wish I was joking. Trying to explain that to somebody that isn't really online or doesn't use TikTok, it's so hard. It's it's ridiculously hard. <laughs> yes, Bevo choking on his food. Um. Nice. I'm <laughs> banging. <laughs> 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 I went down the gullet well. Like, I don't understand this guy. Like, how can you say food's banging? Like, chewing is like the main part of enjoying food, right? That's why you kind of get the flavor out of everything. If you're swallowing it straight away, you don't get anything. You're kind of wasting all the beautiful flavor. It's the stare he does as well when he swallows it. Watch his face. Nice. <laughs> it's the thousand yard stare that. <laughs> his eyes like pop out. Right, let's go straight into this. Sausage. Right, that's a half a sausage bite. You've got, you've got it three. I think this is a bit problematic and I'll tell you for why on Christmas okay he's having his Christmas fry up here on Christmas I'm a 25 year old boy and I tried the Bevo challenge with my Christmas dinner I wish I was kidding I wasn't doing it on video I wasn't doing it to impress anyone I just took it upon myself to try and I nearly choked and I'm 25 imagine 15 year olds imagine five year olds my little brother has TikTok if he's doing the Bevo challenge he could be bloody dead next week that's a little bit morbid Christ I actually think a lot of people have probably tried this or is it just me am i in the minority maybe i'm the idiot live fast die young right as it says on an h and t-shirt somewhere if you don't know the rules get to know the rules in brumwood egg that's another thing about bevo he always says you know the rules if you don't know the rules get to know the rules but how do we get to know the rules because he never tells us the rules what are the rules does anyone know what the rules are here is there a rule book that he said earlier that newbies don't really get to get because i don't know a single fucking rule here dinner you got the free range pigs that's so weird. <laughs> oh.
You know when Bevo like makes it big and he's making loads of money, he's gonna have to hire a stunt double because this is more dangerous than some stunts that are done in movies. Since Bevo has got his fame off not swallowing his food, he's decided to like branch out into other areas. He even got featured on like a big UK rap page called Mixtape Madness. Body on when I step right, left and head or left, right, the 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 left, right. The dead. I was good to the dead. Is he having a stroke? Somebody help Bevo. He had a stroke on mixtape madness. What? He's not even saying the words though. Is this like a musically? Is he meant to be saying the words or is he meant. I don't understand. I'll be popping pills and popping pities, man. I feel it's like a rock star. Oh my brother, better what if he did it with the rock star? I don't know what to say. This man is one of the biggest creators of the last month. How do you explain that to somebody? How do you explain Bevo? law to somebody. So I kind of get why people kind of slate him to an extent because the way he's grew, he's grew off kind of being a bit dense. But does that actually make him really clever? Surely he can't be doing this seriously. Surely this is put on. This can't be real. This can't be him trying to sing the lyrics. Surely he like no people would react to this meaning he gets more replies, meaning his engagement's higher, meaning more views. Surely that's the way he's thinking. Oh, I don't know if I'm thinking like that because I do this and I've done this for a while. I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to justify something that's not there. By the way, people, I just need to say quickly, if you haven't already, please press subscribe to this channel because 74.1% of you have not. I'm going to be posting on this channel as much as possible. We're going to have movie reactions. We've got UK TikTok reactions. Going to have some videos with friends coming up. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and thank you so much for all the constant support. The boys are beaver. The boys are beaver. They don't do Nina. They don't want Nina. <sighs> to be fair, this is basically what like little baby or like Playboy Carty sounds like. It's kind of what a lot of rappers sound like. Maybe Bevo's onto something here. Maybe he is. Maybe Ice Spice might ask him for a collab. But now Bevo has got like a lot of fame and stuff. He kind of has started like kind of flexing like he, how much money he's making and he's well. So I started at the very start of September. I only earned 650. But my next month was 9k. My following month, November, was 10k. But this month already, I've made 11.2 Gs. Bro, oh, that's... I Nah, you know what, how have I been doing it all wrong this time? Fuck it, I'm gonna go and try and swallow a bloody apple without chewing. Give us two sec. This is insane. The man made £11,000 from choking and singing lyrics wrongly. TikTok is a mental platform. Is that <laughs> the next creator is definitely problematic and he goes by the name Lewis Sanderson. You've probably seen this guy. He is the dad on TikTok that cries. <laughs> that sounds awful when I say it like that. But he's not actually crying. Well, he is, but he's fake crying. Like the scenarios this guy creates are is, is honestly unhinged. Like I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. Somebody help me! Josh, I need you to stay there. Sorry. for you. I love you so. Oh. Just climb. That doesn't look that steep. Look, just climb. You've got your hand clearly there. That's not that steep. Also, surely this is creating PTSD for the child. The child's not going to realise that this is a skit. The child's going to one day grow up and go, and go, God, Dad, you nearly died about ten times in front of me eyes. How did you survive that? Dad, are you a superhero? What the fuck? This child's going to grow up with, hopefully it won't, but possibly with mental issues. Like, if I saw my dad continually dying or pretending to die on a daily basis, that's going to do something to you. That I don't care what you say, that's gonna have an effect, surely. <laughs> <laughs> that's me when someone steals the last sausage roll in front of us in the queue at Greg's. Hello, Mum. I know. See, this is my issue with him, right? He's acting, but it's the fact he dramatizes such real and like pressing issues that actually happen to people. Like I know that happens in Hollywood, in in just you know acting in general. But for me, I just feel like he's taking the piss. He can't look at these videos and go, "I that mint, I'll post that one." I like, what do you mean? <laughs> Like, come on. No, sorry. I'm not having that this is serious. You can't go, my daughter's dead. What are we doing here? Are we being serious? Because I don't think we are, son. Don't worry. I can't be bothered. You're not worth the trouble it would take to hit you. You're not worth the powder it would take to blow you up. You are an empty, 
empty, hollow shell of a woman! Who hurt this man? Somebody along the line ruined this man's heart and he never recovered. Like, imagine you are the his ex and you're like, oh, what's, uh, what's Lewis doing now? Oh, he's just uh, pretending to cry on TikTok. You'd be like, oh, well, that's an automatic W for me. One of his most, oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this. One of his most controversial ones is when he basically pretended that his child had drowned in the paddling pool, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't do a video like this and then have hashtag fiction in it. Yeah, guys, just so you know, this actually never happens. So I'm allowed to make a joke about it. You're putting this in the same category as Harry Potter. You can't put fiction and awareness in the same video as hashtags. That doesn't make sense. You're trying to spread awareness, but then you're saying that it's not real. So which one is it? Oh my god, this is... Maybe he should be further down the iceberg now. I feel like he should be further down the iceberg. This is awful. He has actually done a response to the hate that he gets. My name is Lewis Saunderson. Recently, I had a video go viral. Sorry, sorry. If you're doing a serious one, don't include that clip because I'm just going to burst out laughing. You can't put a video of you screaming. This is just not fair. Reached over 30 million views on my TikTok channel. Created a lot of media attention around the intentions behind this video. No, it didn't. The first thing in your apology you got, yeah, got 30 million views. And then don't put it down to it being because of the actual meaning of the video. It did it because it was ridiculous. That's the reason it blew up, okay? Put him down. <laughs> The next TikToker on the surface, I believe, is just as bad as Lewis. His name is Simple Simon. <laughs> you probably have heard of him. I can't really describe this guy's content. Uh, like, how would you even describe his content? I think we'll just watch it. I think people are getting a bit confused. I said I'm getting into gaming, not gay men. Gaming as in Fortnite, COD, and everything like that. Not gay men. So just off this video, you can see that he's an absolute barrel of laughs. Sorry, but if you were in school and your dad was doing this, you would never hear the end of it. Haha! <laughs> your dad dances topless outside of Poundland. Like you're never getting that off your off your back. That sticks with you right through school. It's like your mom getting a a, a bits out or something. That just kind of sticks with you. You just have to deal with that. Right? I like Poundland just as much as the next person, but I've never thought about dancing outside of topless. It doesn't really appeal to me. Don't know really why. Maybe I should try it. Right? I guess you don't know until you try. Simon kind of clearly enjoys people mocking. Him. Oh, I don't know if it's because that's the only thing that kind of gets some views. I'm gonna buy a new Fort skin on Fortnite, that's for sure, but I don't know if to spend a lot of money. But someone last night, they beat me with a furry Fort skin. <sighs> It's a bit odd though, isn't it? The only people that are gonna be falling for this are like children. So you're like joking about furry foreskins with children. TikTok is a weird place. I've just been live on Twitch. Been really good actually. They've given me a few different things to work on on um, Fortnite. Uh, one of them's edging, I've got to find out what that is. So that's gonna be good. And the other one's Jail King or something. Um... I guess he's not hurting anyone. I just find it a little bit weird, okay? There's gonna be 10 year olds going, <laughs> you see that simple Simon said he needs to learn how to wedge. I don't want to ever be in that conversation. You know, if someone was saying that about me, I would be horrified. I don't know if people are winding me up or not, but apparently the skins on Fortnite are called Fort Skins. I don't know if that is the truth or what, but if anybody's got a Fort Skin out there, that I can play with, that's brilliant because I haven't got one at the moment. A circumcised man. No hoodie for him. It's like, what are you do- you're asking kids if you can play with any of their foreskins? It's a little bit strange though, isn't it? You actually asked there. That wasn't you just playing oblivious. And I don't know why he's kind of ran with this, like the whole foreskin. Like he's went, well, guess this is my avenue now. Foreskin, just gonna tunnel vision down this rabbit hole. <laughs> I also find him a little bit odd when he talks about his daughter. Like, his daughter seems uh, really sound, but the way he kind of speaks about her is a little strange. Because I know Cal would be, like, really respectful, and you know what I mean, and, that, and he, he really thinks a lot of Keely, so he'd be, like, nice and 
in general, do you know what I mean? Just to give a bit of context here, he's talking about another TikToker shagging his daughter and saying he would like it because he'd be nice and gentle. Need I say anything more? Imagine your dad going, oh yeah, actually, I kind of want him to shag her. Shag me daughter. He'll do a good job. Go on, son. Pat him on the back as he goes in. It's just, it makes my skin crawl a little bit. Help him lose his virginity as well. Well, yeah, there's that as well. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I volunteer my daughter as tribute to make him lose his virginity. Ha! <laughs> Give me a clap later. She'll probably get the clap too. I also remember him playing Never Have I Ever with my daughter and one of the questions he asked was just weird. Never have I ever worn a... Thumb. I'm sorry, but there's only two people that that question is directed to and one of them's your daughter What like look at these four man nightmare blood rotation god imagine being stuck at a 4am afters with these So has anyone wore a thong? Oh my idea of hell I do kind of feel sorry for him in a way because I feel like he just kind of thrives off the attention There's been a couple of times where he said he's gonna quit and then just comes back soon after guys Honestly, it's just it's just too much. It's literally too much. Honestly. I'm not I'm not happy. I'm not happy at the moment. I'm really drained. I'm tired. I'm just not not getting it anymore. And you know, sorry, sorry. I'm not even buttoning in reacting here because this is actually kind of just sad. Like you know, I'd expect this from a young TikToker or a young uh, you know creator who it's the first time you know like being young, having to deal with like a lot of emotions. But this this guy's older, you know. Like I just don't really think social media and stuff's for him. But I feel like he thrives off the attention of it. So that's why I just think it's a little problematic him having a platform. By the way, I just want to stop this video to say that. I I have a new reacts channel I upload on there every other day if you want videos on British TikTok on British TV shows on basically loads of different things and you just want videos to binge when you're just a bit bored go and subscribe to it it's Cam Kirkham reacts I'll put it in the description we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers so if you want to be in the before 100,000 subscribers club press subscribe <laughs> Okay, now we're moving down the iceberg to the body. So these people are more problematic than the, the previous tier, and I believe they actually are having such a negative impact on society. To get them done, I said I went to Turkey because that's where the best veneers are. Now, the main person I want to focus on for this entire category is a guy called Sam Gowland. I don't know if you've seen his face before, but I believe he's been on Love Island, he was on Geordie Shaw, and you might be asking yourself, what's Sam Gowland doing now? <laughs> said nobody ever. Well, he is posting TikToks consistently where he brags about his teeth. Right, so I'm back from Turkey, ready to do my new veneer teeth reveal, and here are the new veneers that I have just got. Now look how good they are. You will not get better veneers. Okay, I'm gonna preface this with saying what everyone else is thinking. I am in no position to comment on teeth. Aye, right? looks like Chernobyl reactor went off there. Reactor number four just blew up in me mouth. I get it. But at least mine are mine, and I'm owning that. This guy paid for them teeth. I've often seen people say, where did you get your gum shield from, lad? Oh, <laughs> So, TikTok's so awful and brutal. Now, normally, if you're, you know, you're taking the piss out of someone's appearance, I don't really like that. People can't change that. But Sam often, like, brags about how good his teeth are and about how his teeth look better than everyone else. And I feel like this is why it's kind of just to give him a little bit of shit back for this. Anywhere in the world than go to Turkey, look at these. The difference, it's uncomparable. So much more natural, even more natural than what they were before. I mean, they're not natural, though, are they? Are they natural? Is that what natural teeth looks like god you know it's crazy the amount of people that are saying the best veneers that they've ever seen thanks so much but i'm even happier now because of all the comments and all the messages i get and then people stop me saying god where do you get your teeth and they look so nice. that's what I, I was a bit nervous when i got the dunk of the thought i'm sorry but there's nobody going up to him in the street and going oh mate where'd you get your teeth done if they are they're like where'd you get your teeth done just so i know to avoid that place at all costs the thing is with this guy is i don't know if he's just a troll like i don't know if he actually believes that like people are commenting that these are nice or if he's just saying this because he knows it gets attention and reaction which boosts his videos and i feel like that's that's the toxic thing about TikTok because it's not really on YouTube. That doesn't really work on YouTube. Like YouTube videos are promoted if people like them. Like people have to watch them for like, you know, a long period of time for them to get promoted. So you have to kind of like the video. Whereas on TikTok, it's just engagement. It's just whatever's got the most likes, whatever's got the most comments. That's the thing that blows up. So if he can do these types of videos, he's only going to get bigger and bigger. But I just feel like it promotes this, this toxic kind of creator. Like the bee 
Evos, like that Lewis Sol Sol Solderson guy. Every single time I do a TikTok or a video, people comment, and I know it's for attention, people comment and say, worst teeth I've ever seen, they look like a pack of chewing gum, they look like piano keys. <laughs> Sorry, that one's funny. That one goes piano key. Oh, I could play Three Little Birds by Bob Marley on those, Sam. The reason they cost £6,000 is because I went to the best people in the world to get them done. I said I went to Turkey because that's where the best veneers are. £6,000? Christ. Wonder if you paid on finance. Imagine having your teeth on finance. How are you paying for your teeth? With clear pay, obviously. Like, that's just such a funny concept that you, even your teeth are on finance. As well as the Mercedes A-Class. As well as the new built house. Do you know what I don't understand? Why you would choose to have an office job and work nine to five for somebody else? Be confined to one space slash one country where you can work from anywhere in the world. I'm still at work today. I'm still working, but I'm working from here. One thousand two hundred pounds a night. Now, some people might think that's expensive. It is expensive, but what's not expensive about being more money? Christ, that's like nine teeth of his. <laughs> He's gonna have to flog his teeth one by one to stay there. This is the thing I don't get with people like him. It's like, do you think people are making the choice to not be there in the pool and work? And do you think people are going, do you know what, actually, Sam? I don't I don't want to be in Bali in an infinity pool right now. I'd rather just be in an office because it's kind of just what I prefer. No, if, if everyone was given the choice, they would probably be where you are. But it's not that easy. And this is the thing as well. He, he's, he's, he's given off as if, oh, he's just started this from nothing. The guy was on Love Island. The guy was on Geordie Shore. The guy's had a huge platform to start from. Everyone else starts from here. Even like the, the connections he would have made when he was on the show, like all of this makes it much easier for him to earn money doing this kind of thing. He doesn't like see it from the perspective of everybody else. I get like heated with this because so many people on TikTok and that are promoting that it's easy to make £10,000 a month when if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. The best thing in the world is being able to make money from your phone wherever you are in the world. Just being independent. Today, from here, I made £1,200, not with a finger really, just been sat sunbathing. If you want to get involved, I'll put the link below. Trust me, yeah, get involved completely free. Watch what happens when you join. You know what, maybe we need to do a full video where we, we join his thing. Like, I'll, I'll join the thing and I'll just see what happens if I get transported to Dubai in the tallest building in the world. I'll let you know, guys, when I'm there. Then you won't be laughing. Where's the link in his bio? I want to see the link. Oh, he's a trader. So that's how he makes money. So he says it's free, okay, but if you're a trader, you get, like, referral money for every everybody that trades on a certain thing. So he'll be getting money off you joining, so it's not really free. He's not trying to just help you for it out of the kindness of his heart. Now, we're gonna move on to people that are somehow worse than that man, to the dark abyss of the iceberg. <laughs> The ones that are down there creating all the all the drama and all the rubbish. The people that shouldn't really have a platform. And we have to start this off with the most notorious British TikToker of the last 365 days. <laughs> yeah! Now I've put Alphabet in the dog abyss. <laughs> bad statement because I actually kind of feel bad for her and I believe it's a lot darker her situation than you know meets the eye and I don't really keep up that much with Alphabet I'm gonna be honest with you I don't really know like a day-to-day -day dramas however when there's like a big drama it often comes on my for you page and if you didn't already know Alphabet had scabies which she admitted herself but there has recently been a massive outbreak of scabies in the UK and everybody is blaming her Obviously. I go on TikTok, I'm like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna go on the for you page, just like Queensland. I go on there and I see ITV News, scabies outbreak. Oh, okay, I'm like, oh, yeah, what other comments gonna be? Alphabet, alphabet, alphabet. Growl. I'm sorry, right? But if you're even in the in the in the conversation that you possibly could have started the scabies outbreak, that's enough for me. Nobody was was commenting that you know you at home was there because you know you didn't put it out there that you had scabies. Why would you even want to bring that unwanted attention to yourself? This is why I believe this situation so dark. Even her making a video on that she possibly could have been in the scabies outbreak, the reason for it, that's dark in itself because it's like any little bit of attention is good attention for her, which you know is. Just just quite toxic in my opinion. And I wonder if this kind of news is affected her because I recently seen a video of her screaming in a McDonald's at like 2 a.m. Trans rights are human rights. Gay is not an insult. Trans rights. Don't you fucking come at me for being gay, bitch. 
Right, I don't know the context to this video, but slay, queen, slay. Like, the message is good, right? Obviously, trans rights, right? You're fucking, come on, let's fuck. But do you need to scream in that McDonald's staff at 2 a.m.? Like, people just trying to do their job. It's the worst thing when you go into a McDonald's, right, after a night out, you're pissed, and there's someone screaming. It just makes everyone else uncomfortable while you're waiting for your nuggets. Like, guys, I have important views, right? World peace. But I'm not shouting it at 2 a.m. in a McDonald's, because that's just going to make everyone feel uncomfortable. I don't want to, like, hang on Alphabet for too long, because I have done a full video on her if you want to go and watch it. I just believe that somebody needs to... I Like, I can't believe somebody hasn't grabbed a hold of her and just, like, kind of sat down with that and just tell her straight with all this fame and attention and just kind of like I don't know just just kind of set her straight like this attention that she so like you know craves it's not healthy and in the long run it's just gonna end in tears and I just believe this situation the more it goes on and goes on it's gonna get darker and darker this time next year I don't know where Elphaba's gonna be speaking of Elphaba the next person her, her right hand woman Chelsea Liot Chelsea Liot roots do you understand I believe this person is worse than Elphaba because with Elphaba, she's younger, right? She, I kind of half give her a little bit of a pass because she's making mistakes when she's young. Whereas Chelsea Liot is like a fully grown woman. She should know better than what Elphaba should. By the way, if you don't know who Chelsea Liot is, she basically is famous for being rude to people. Soft. I'm going to have a bath, you, you tramp. Boo your cob, go away. You know, she's a, she's a, a very lovely woman. She's mostly known for like just kicking off in public at like waiting staff uh, or using Elphaba for views. All the good stuff, you know. And lately, her content has mostly been about just her, like, bragging about how famous and rich she is. I don't mind. I'll go to some expensive gym and pay, like, three grand for the month. Two, two, three grand a month. You understand? That's the difference. What do you mean, that's the difference? You want a refund from your current gym, but you're willing to pay £3,000 to go to, to a more expe- That- what is, that doesn't even make any sense. Also, if you're paying three grand a month for a gym, that is, that's, that's just, you're a fool. You know, whether you're paying 15 quid for a gym or three grand, it doesn't make you become any fitter. Like, a gym's a gym. It's kind of like what you do with it, isn't it? Like, what would be in a gym for three grand? Do they lift the weights for you? Charles? Yes, darling. Can I get an autograph, please? Oh, I don't have time for this. A bitch like me's got shit to do. Number one in the UK. Roots, know what time it is. Couple of questions. What does number one, like, what, what do you mean number one in the UK? Of what? Number one in the UK of what? Of what chart? Is there like a, a person chart? I wonder where I would be. I'm not even in the top 10,000 of that chart. And what is the, the ranking of this chart? I need to know. Also, I've seen her do loads of videos where she's complaining about how much benefits she's getting paid. Like, apparently she's been underpaid or whatever the drama is. So, if I was her, I wouldn't really be filming her getting into a Lamborghini Urus. Uh, because here, HMRC will be looking at that very, very kindly indeed. Especially when she's coming out of a gated property. I kind of worry for, for this woman's taxes. Carry on banging and I'll send the footage to the council. Oh my god, could you imagine living like next door to this woman? That would be hell. Just constant loudness. Oh my god. She just clearly has no, what's the word, like no awareness of anyone else. Like she's living in her own world. The thing is she actually is harming people around her. She actually is being rude to people. It's not like, oh, she's just doing her own thing. No, like her doing her own thing is hurting everybody else. That's why I believe she's problematic. <laughs> Can you imagine living next door to her though? Like your 4am alarm is just her shouting, Roots, darling. Roots, get up, fucking Roots. <laughs> Okay, the final TikTok account that I believe is the most problematic account in the entire of the UK, at the very bottom of the iceberg, is one called Nightlife UK. Now, this is more of a, I guess, a niche one. Like, it's not as recognised as, like, a Chelsea Lee art or even an Alphaba. But I believe this is more troublesome than both of them. You might have seen it randomly pop up on your, on your For You page. Basically, it's this guy and he films lasses on a night out without their consent, without them knowing what's going on. And it's really pervy. Like, what are you, what are you doing? What do you mean nightlife, Manchester? You're not filming any bars. Who's gonna watch this and go? I tell you what, Manchester looks decent. Probably pervs, to be fair. Imagine, you know, when you wake up on a night out, you've already got that anxiety, haven't you? Imagine going on your phone, your For You page, and you're popping up on one of this guy's videos. You'd be like, oh no, why was me hair sitting like that? Especially if like your makeup and everything was smudged. You've had a bit of a rough one. It's so weird. 
I don't know, like, if people are trying to think I'm, like, virtue signaling or anything here, like, but I'm not, I, I just genuinely think this is, like, weird, like, if you realise it's only lasses, if this was actually Manchester Nightlife, it would be everybody, right? It would be, like, lads, lasses, whatever, your fucking auntie, your uncle, whoever would be on it, like, there would be all ranges of ages, like, that's what a town looks like on a Saturday night. Whereas this is just young lasses, and he clearly hasn't asked for their consent to film, which I, I actually believe is probably illegal to an extent. Even if there was a split of, of lads and lasses on it, I'd still think it was weird because you're still filming people without their consent. But it's the fact it's just young lasses and it's probably like a 40 year old guy filming it as well. Like no wonder he doesn't show his face. I'm sorry, but if I saw him filming, I'm kicking the left. Probably wouldn't even film me because I'm not even a skirt. I'd have to walk around in a skirt to attract him first. That would be a horror for the eyes. And last but not least, we're going to talk about Paul Bre- No, we're not. We're not, we're not even including him in this. I'm not talking about that man. We're just going to let him kind of ride into the sunset. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch another video from me, click right here on this channel. Or if you want to watch something on my brand new Reacts channel, make sure you click right here.